It's busy at this metro station in central Kiev, but none of these people are commuters. A day after missile strikes hit the Ukrainian capital, air raid sirens sent these residents underground to seek safety. We didn't think rocket strikes will happen again downtown. It is terrorism. You understand that you are not safe at home, even if there are no infrastructural objects nearby. Two walls and a basement will not save you. Nowhere in Ukraine feels safe after Monday's wave of attacks. Now this is one of the deepest metro stops in the city of Kiev. It was built after the Second World War as a bunker to protect the residents of the city from bombs. And today it's being used for just that reason. Anna and Ola came to Kiev from Lviv over the weekend, while the city was experiencing a relative calm. She clutches onto the Ukrainian flag as she waits for the sirens to stop. For her, the flag symbolizes hope. To me, the flag is a symbol that Ukrainians are resilient and that we will win the war. On Tuesday, her city was attacked again, targeting key power infrastructure, leaving many of its residents without electricity. Ukrainians need the world's help to feel calm at home, said President Zelensky in an address to an emergency meeting held by G7 leaders on the crisis. The first point is defense port, an air shield for Ukraine. This is a part of the security guarantees that are an element of our peace formula. When Ukraine receives a sufficient number of modern and effective air defense systems, the key element of Russian terror, missile strikes, will cease to work. G7 leaders have condemned Russia's latest military strikes in Ukraine and pledge continued support. On Kyiv streets, residents are determined to get back to normal. It hurts when Ukraine is affected by such attacks, because this is our land. These are our architectural monuments, our buildings, our parks, and it's frightening that we can't defend it and the missiles land. We can only protect all this by being here, by working. The Turkish and Russian presidents are set to meet in Astana this week as part of Turkey's continuing mediation efforts as the war, now in its seventh month, is only showing signs of escalating further. Rahul Radhakrishnan, TRT World, Kiev, Ukraine.